According to an African proverb, truth is like a calabash. The more you suppress it in water, the more it comes out to the surface. A former aviation minister, Usita Chidoka, has amended the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, for the way it treated the case of Mesoma AGK in the 2023 UTME candidates accused of result forgery. Chidoka, who is also the owner of the Computable Based Testing Center, where Mesoma sat for her examination, advised her to confess over the results as it was fake. He said he will beg Jam for leniency if Mesoma comes clean to the source with the source of our results. Jide. Osita Chidoka, the where the center where Mesoma sat for this examination, and he uh, came out. And he came out with his own side of the story. And thank God that if you have people like this, we that still have people where some are losing their heads. Yes, that we still have people can people. come out to say the truth. Yes, not, not where, where the person Maybe comes from. the person is from my ethnic group or anything. The is coming I don't out know what truth. has come over us as a people. Because some people are still calling for the investigation. I don't know. Scrap, has, scrapping uh, of jam. Some people are still calling for. Thorough investigation because of leave all that you, one. Leave that. Nobody. There is no. All, all of those uh, talk about invest, investigation. How? Jamba has concluded the investigation. What? Are, what do they want to investigate? And all the all the facts that you need. All the facts that you need are available. Ah, I don't understand what really has come over our people. You see people that you used to think were decent. They are the ones piling pressure on, on, on Jam, calling Jam names, issuing threats. The same Olo Ede that we used to praise, people will get up now trying to blame Jam for what has happened. <laughs> Nobody can stop people from faking documents. Whether it is land document or their school certificate, we still see big politicians up to today, they are still faking documents. Mm -hmm. There is no time, even INEC from EC8A, INEC has consistently increased the security features, features. on its INEC from EC8A, the mm -hmm. resource sheet, because politicians will go and get their printers to print it. Counterfeit. And at the end of the day, they will write figures by themselves. Thanks to beavers. These things are not, they are not easy to do again. So what, what are they talking about? The templates, he talked about the fact that the, the templates on which they used to write results has changed. He even said that he noticed that they did not get the name the of name the, the testing center, center right. Correctly. Because the name of the testing center that was used by this forger <laughs> has changed since 2021. And INEC <laughs> has changed. The way, look at her holding the thing in, in, in landscape format. <laughs> People can't reason that, look, others are in this form. <laughs> of course, my son, my son sat for this same jam now. <laughs> and I have the result. And there are people that I try to help with admission who also sent me their results. I, 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 I released those ones two days ago. And you saw, look, look that's the way it is. So if out of 1.6 million people, an individual is going around with something that looks like this. With, plan, for with landscape instead of portraits. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be, and you are blaming Jam. And you are blaming Jam. Something is wrong with you. <laughs> How do you blame Jam for this kind of thing? Some are citing, oh, is it not the same Jam where somebody stole uh, uh, money and claimed that it was a... Snake. Okay. You, the same good. Thing? Good. The same Who exposed the person? Is it police that exposed the person? Is it not Professor Loede that exposed the same person? How, how, how many times do we see stealing going on within Nigerian agencies and they cover it up by themselves? Because yeah. once you accommodate, I mean, you set two people, they keep quiet. But Oloede was the one who exposed the fraud. Jam is constantly retooling his processes. Yeah. Look at what Osita said to the shame of the people backing. This, uh, this uh, forger of a girl. Osita said that when he was FRSC 
uh, yeah. boss. He used that jam. it was jam that he used to, to set conduct. exam, to conduct exam for people who for wanted cadet. to get for, into for FRSC. Cadets. Yeah. So if he wasn't sure that that was an excellent organization where good things still happen, would he have used them to help him to on conduct an uh, exam? Before, the people were writing, when we start for jam, if they were using paper now. Yes, no. yes sir. Today, so today, they are using computer. Oh, computer. They even said now that in future exams that you are going to use your phones. You can use your phones. Yes, sir. They have a device that ensures that you cannot access the internet, even if you use your phone. Inside that exam hall, yeah. you won't be able to, uh, to, to access the internet. So at the end of the day, you, you still can cheat. Google. Yeah. You still can use cheat, Google. even if you use your... So they are constantly innovating. Uh, um, innovating, and you are abusing them because we are gripped by emotions. The biggest problem with many Nigerians is that they can't brush aside their emotions. Mm. Oh, we used to think Baba Jide was subjective. Oh, today, every, since Tinobu won the election, he has become a changed person. Oh, Baba Jide, the same APC people. They rem remember when APC people used to call me tomato journalists and all those absolute rubbish? Mm. Today, they've forgotten that I used to quarrel with APC people. Some will even come to TVC here to abuse me on, on a program that I supervise. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen that before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see. So uh, this now, today, because you chose to stand on the, not all of us believe in political correctness. Political correctness is rubbish. Speak the truth. One day we all die and go and meet our maker. What is political correctness? Oh, I come from this tribe. If they see me uh, uh, opposing what this guy has done, people are going to abuse me. More people in their hearts, they know the truth, but they don't want to say it. But, but the person uh, you match the, the highest score, uh, with the highest score, she's still from uh, the same state. Still from Anambra, 360. Uh, now... That's the person we should be celebrating. Yes, four, four distinct features that nailed Mesoma and our fraudulent uh, backers. Now, number one, the name of that center, like Gide said, has changed from Thomas Kidoka computer-based center to the Kemifuna Foundation. Now you have the Thomas Sidoka in brackets. They forgot that one. Because that Thomas Sidoka was last used in 2021. Mm. Number two, what Jam did is to also, if you look at our own results, you won't find the choices of universities there. In 2023, you will see the choices of university from your first choice the second choice, third choice, fourth choice in the portrait, in all the 1.6 million results, apart from that of uh, Mesoma. <laughs> because as at 2021, Jam was not putting the choices of universities. My son sat for Jam this year, and I have his results. His choices and of it's universities. Not in landscape. It's not in landscape, it is portrait. <laughs> so wow. now, another one is the age. They doctored, I mean, you know, when you scan Ms. Omar's uh, result, mm. you will see the age of the original owner, who yes. scored 134. Yes. One, yes. one, one Yoruba, Miriam. Miriam. Mi Miriam, one Yoruba girl. So, I mean, and the last one, you see, yeah, that's it. You see, the one, one below, the portrait, yeah. be, below uh, that, on that portrait, uh, you will see the choices of universities. Mm. Go and check that of Ms. Omar, you won't see the choices from, you will see, Four universities there, in all the for all the people that sat for Jamb in 2023. Mm. So Jamb is not stupid, and for, for, for Professor Oloide is smarter than them. He said, if Anambra government lies, let them set up a 20-man professor to come and uh, investigate uh, uh, Mesoma's uh, matter. He has concluded the investigation and he has banned uh, Mesoma for three years. And you could see the way the, 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 the girl was uh, talking. She said, I'm innocent. I've always been coming for, uh, uh, first from primary school. If you have been coming first from primary school, it does not mean you come first in jump. Jump, jump is a different ball game. Yes, I came first in my uh, uh, white result when I, came to, when, when I went to retake. And I only scored 222 in jump in 1985. On Jojube. On Jojube. 
<laughs> or rather, or rather, as, as they will say, they gave me two twenty-two. Uh, no, then when people score something lower than <laughs> no. say, what, what they want, what they, say say, they, gave they, gave, they gave me twenty twenty-two. If, if they score something high, say, say I, scored, I scored so so so. The teacher, when they score what they truly deserved, and the teacher gave them, they will say, oh, 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 oh for me, fifty. Oh, he said, hello for any fifty-four. <laughs> but if you, you really, if you scored ninety-eight, <laughs> like you say, uh, I scored ninety-eight, you, you say, give yes, yourself I, the credit. Yes. I so, told you, teacher man, Rio. <laughs> teacher suffer. Oh. People who bring us up, who, who hone our character and disposition. We don't my, give them credit. Because my parents are teachers, I see some of these things. And you know, I mean, there is a, that, that man is a wicked man. They will mm. be saying it in my presence. So say that man, that is a very wicked man. You say he's a stingy. But but when they score very well, say ah, they will even buy. Uh, their parents will buy a uh, full stuff and come and give it to us. So to my dad, mm -hmm. I thank you for the good job you are doing. I say, ah, come. Is it that these people are bribing or what? But some people will be saying, ah, that man is very wicked. You know? And some people will even bring their kids to my oh, dad let's to, even, to, to, let's to train them. make the point. People calling Messioma a minor, they don't know what they are talking about. It is the age of the other person that they are Talking about, are talking about. Miss Yoma is nineteen owner. years. Yes, he's nineteen. Our father came on a program and gave the real, real age. Age. People don't know that. You see, when you are trying to cover the truth, you will make some mistakes that will expose you mm -hmm. as a liar. Our real age is nineteen. Yeah. People get married at that age. Oh. Okay. Hold your thought there. We we'll take this break. When we come back, we we'll talk more. We'll be right back. Thank you for staying with us. If you're just joining us, this is Journalist Angato reaching you live from our headquarters here in Lagos, Nigeria. And I still have Babajide Kolade Otitoju and Mojid Jami in the studio. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives expressed contrary opinion when members waded into the allegation of result forgery leveled by Jam against Mr. Omar. The lawmakers expressed concern that the examination body acted in an unprofessional manner in a matter involving a minor by withdrawing her results and banning her for three years as she may have been manipulated by an adult. The House set up an hard doc committee to probe the matter and ask Jam to stay action until the Green Chamber concludes its investigation. Let's share the story with you. Year-old Ejikeme Umesoma has been in the news for some days now. The bone of contention is the alleged forging of a UTME results, which prompted Jam to impose a three-year ban on her. This, this is my aggregate 360. So this is exactly how I printed it. I downloaded it from that site. River State Legislator Awaji Inambek Abiyanti comes with a motion seeking the intervention of his colleagues in the controversy that has recently dominated the media space. I allege that some of the 2023 UTMB candidates are parading already fake scores. I therefore call on the House to resolve, to set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the alleged manipulation of UTME results by AGK Mesoma and any other person. It's an IT issue. Some criminals created an app, and I will share it with my colleagues, so that they will find out this girl was manipulated by some adults, some individuals, in order to take advantage of her talent, to cash on the privileges that comes with the highest score in JAM examination. Other members are no less taken aback by the turn of events and their appeal is that Jam stands down on the ban placed on the candidate. With respect to this case, we must presume innocence on the part of the girls. At the same time, we must presume or assume that the Jam, that Jam 
has had church pursuant to the law establishing them. establishing them. The consensus is that JAM's approach has failed the test of institutional procedure. JAM has alleged a criminal offense, a very serious criminal offense of forgery. And then JAM at the same time, just like somebody stated, is also investigating this allegation of forgery without when they, when they supposed to be a presumption of innocence. JAM has also gone ahead to even punish the girl. I mean, come on, something is definitely wrong with that process. And had a committee to conduct the investigation and report back in one week. Jokke Ebsa, TVC News, Abuja. So, our lawmakers described uh, Ms. Soma as a minor, one, GD, and um, that lawmaker that just finished speaking said Jam assumed the position of a prosecutor, a judge, and everything in this case. So, they are calling for further investigation of Jam. Even Abia State, they've set up like a 15 man uh, uh, committee number. with Professor. Professor Dees, eight Professor Dats, uh, yeah? eight professors. Eight professors to investigate this particular. What do you make from this? Our lawmakers need to busy themselves with more tangible things. They have no business getting involved in this. We have institutions that can deal with this matter. The DSS, if they are calling for DSS to complete the investigation, the investigation and, and then make the findings known. known. I understand. But for lawmakers who should be Set busy had, had a committee. with state matters, state matters, they're getting us uh, uh, themselves uh, about cushioning effects for petrol. of a, a young girl blatantly forging. I mean, these people should be more serious than this now. They were not elected to, 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 to be behaving like this. What is their business in this matter? What is your business? There are more pressing issues in our country that they can busy themselves about. Even the, the, um, uh, um, the duty of checking the excesses of Niger Nigerian ministries, agencies, and parastatas. They've not done 100 of it. They are yes, yes, they are oversight functions. Their oversight is function, this, this, they've not done 100. part of their oversight function? Jam, when you want to sit for jam, there are rules. Mm. You submit yourself. You submit yourself to You sign. Rules. Are these federal lawmakers telling me now that if somebody slashes another person's neck and he stands with, uh, with his knife dripping blood, and he stands there, watching over the dead person, you will still be talking about the presumption of innocence. The evidence that Jam has provided on this matter, and even the evidence that Osita Chidoka has come up with, Wait. they are cast iron evidence. We don't, we don't, need, we don't need House of Reps. Uh, probe to, 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 to set up a, an ad hoc committee for one week. We don't need it. Let them get themselves busy doing something else. If they don't know how to get themselves busy, we'll suggest to them what to do. We'll suggest to them what to do. The See, so no, 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 no. <clears throat> uh, what, what, what they should we even do? <laughs> See, Jam, they, I mean, uh, God bless uh, Dr. Um, the, the head of uh, corporate communications of uh, Jam. Fabian. Dr. Fabian. You see, he came with... He came prepared. Prepared hard facts. See, JAM has a USSD code that you register your phone number with each candidate as registers his or her uh, uh, phone number with the USSD, uh, USSD code with your NIN. That's why JAM was insisting that you must have your NIN. Mm -hmm. Now, when you... That's why they are saying they, are, they know that this girl could knife with other people. Other people. Because some of those, uh, what you even need to get into, into yes. you, is, is known to you. It's known to you alone. So now, this lady, time, the time and the date that she sent 
a request. You send request, just put my result. Send it to 5505. That's the GAMP USSD. It will return your result to you. Now, it returned 249 to Mesoma. Mesoma now typed the 362 and sent to the porter. The porter rejected it. And still repeated the 249. And repeated the two that your result is 249. So what are we talking about? And she here? still printed. She still printed on that page. She printed for the page. She printed the original two point the all the time. The time is there. The time and that the she time did all of this. And the date. So what are we talking about here? Even the lady I has now. That's all the record now. In fact, I think we should go the line of Chidoka. That Mesoma, the father and the mother, should come and apologize to Jamb. So that we, we Nigerians can ever for her, plead mm -hmm. for leniency. Yes, no doubt, even with 249, she's a brilliant uh, girl, but she's not outstanding as she wants people to believe. There are many who okay, to let me take them. Gerald is calling us from Abuja. Thank you for joining us, Gerald. Thank you, thank you, guys. I greet you all. I greet uh, Baba Gide especially. Thank you, guys, for you know the brand of journalism you are promoting. Um, the journalism that is, as it should be that is predicated on knowledge, mm. devoid of emotion. Mm. I salute you guys. Okay. As much as possible, I, like millions of other Nigerians, Are you there, Gerald? Wow, he's gone. Okay. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you for your accommodation. I think we lost Gerald. Yes. Uh, it's a brand of journalism that we've been doing from day one. We are not going to wear cheap suits and be telling Nigerians what we saw on social media. We interpret the truth for people and, and simplify it, make it easy for people yes. to understand. Why do you think there is no program like this that Nigerians based abroad watch the most? Yep. It is because they believe that the only way they can know exactly what's going on in the country is by watching journalists hang out. The truth. There is hardly any household where you won't see somebody who sat for jam in 2023. Go and check the result. Simple. It's Simple. not in that format. Go and check the result. And, and that of Mesoma is on the internet. Do you, know what, do you know what some people are saying? You know, some of the people backing Ms. Yoman and talking about the need for independent investigation, mm. people like uh, uh, Ezekwe Sili, they are hoping in their hearts that an investigation will come up with a smoking gun. How? They will wait forever. How? Because this truth is already self-evident. Self there is evident. no investigation again that can yield the contrary. Mm -hmm. The facts are clear. What this girl and her backers don't know is that even their call logs, their phone conversations with are recorded. recorded. If they are not careful, in, in the evidence, time, evidence will, will be provided yeah. with the transcripts that will show how they planned and executed this abominable crime. Very, so very abominable. you can sit, you can write all kinds of things. The truth is the truth. Mm. And the truth is that this is a clear case of forgery. Forgery. Abusing jump, calling for the scrapping of jump, and even deceiving yourself that, oh, Nigerians have intimidated her to confess. <laughs> technology, <laughs> one good thing lie. about technology is that <laughs> it will expose you. Yeah. She sent, she has admitted that when she sent, sent the, to the USS decode, it told her uh, uh, are, are, what, are, what she's caught. Okay. No individual who starts for jump has the right to generate a result of his own. At all. The girl who came first, mm. she, okay. she was, it was a jump that announced that this is the person Let me that take came first. Lawrence is calling us from Lagos. Thank you for staying with us, Lawrence. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for speaking the truth. Thank you, Florence. The truth is glaring in our eyes, but people refuse to see it. <laughs> Wait, we won't leave them alone now. We won't leave them alone. Uh, My daughter ran to the room and told me that, Mommy, I should come and see that that paper the girl is holding is fake because she wrote jam this year. Oh. 
So she brought, she came in and brought out the original one and said, Mommy, look at this, my own, and look at the girl's phone. Compare oh, it. You can see that the one the girl is holding is the old it's one. It's different. Different. And I looked at it and I saw that there is a great difference between two of them. Thank you, Florence. So I don't know why people should be calling for uh, ethnicity. I don't uh, understand. That's so to sit out to us. Condemn the, the wrong thing. Yes. That is why our country is not moving forward. Yes. Because when we see the wrong thing, we try to cover it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Florence. We will right. never make progress as, as a nation mm. when a good number of us will see the truth and refuse to uh, honor the Try truth. Try to color, color lies. Mm. I mean, I don't know what people gain in a life like this. Somebody was saying, somebody that I know, he came on social media and said, ah, is this how we, we condemn our children when they make mistakes? I don't how, know the kind you, of father you that imagine? you have. That man... Can you imagine that man that I came out of his loins? Honestly, if I do anything that warrants me being handed over to the police, I swear to God, my dad will hand me over. The people don't know what they are talking about. Is it they think everybody is like them? Hmm. Some parents, if you if you commit armed robbery, they will hand you over <clears throat> to the police. Some parents can do that. You know, I sat for WAEC huh? in 1984. Hmm. I had just to. Credits. Veteran. My dad said, Majid, go, you are going back to Olaoluwa. You won't go to any other school or any tutorial center. Right, you can face the disgrace. Go and face that disgrace. You sit with your juniors mm -hmm. in the same class. In fact, the first day I was hiding. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the first day I went back. So he said, you go back there. Go and face them. In 1985, I had the best results. Because he knew you had the potential. Yes. Just that you are, you are, you because are not uh, necessarily playful. Yes. So he didn't allow me to go to any tutorial uh, college or anything. I went back to the same school. Those kind, those are the kind of discipline we had in now those days. Now parents will be looking for special centers. Special centers. Parents will be looking for who to drive. Right. That will they solve. Were the that game. Parents, 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 parents are looking for special centers and hanging around even election. I mean, uh, uh, exam, exam centers. centers. Mm -hmm looking for how to cheat. Mm. What do you want their own kids to do? So is that how you condemn your own children? Oh. Are we, if my son brings me to shame, and that shame is of this level, <laughs> if I don't disown him, except God intervenes. If I don't disown him, except God intervenes. Because that's the way I was brought up. And I'm happy that people that passed through my dad, including those that you saw, mm -hmm. who came with the governor. That, yes, that, no. They said this was the person. person, person. He, even the, go, the person who is a uh, traditional ruler today was flogging him. Yes. He said so. He said it. I was there. So what are we talking about? Our country, we can't watch our country descend into the abyss because of the abominable and shameless attitude of some people who will see black and call it white. No, we can't. Even if we are not many, even if we are not many that are left to defend the truth at the risk of our lives, we will defend the truth. No matter this matter, we will not leave this matter. Oloye, Oloye, Professor. We will not, tomorrow, I will bring another topic. We Professor will not Oloye, leave this matter. Matter than we will all not of leave them. this matter. He knew he, he, he saw, until he, he saw this it coming. Reveals. Yeah, so Professor, they saw this coming, and that's why he changed the format. Yes, and he has been increasing the level of security because a lot of now, people they've called see, the question, they've called to question the operations of Jam that it should be reviewed, change their modules of around it, just they, because of this. Let me, let, let, me, let, me, let me now let me now blow your mind. You see, there are two ways you can generate your results from Jam: one through the USSD code, or two scratch card. The scratch card prints out the, uh, this portrait for you, while the USSD code will send the results to your phone. It will send it to your phone. So two ways. Those two ways generated the same result for Mesoma. But on the USSD code, when, you, uh, when Mesoma sent uh, the, 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 the command to uh, the USSD code 5505, and it returned 249 to her, Mesoma now typed 
the one she wanted. Mm. The 360. She, she got an old resort. Old resort and sent it back to. She got an old resort. resort sheet, yes. An innocent girl. Uh -huh. Then put her own. Her own figures. Unfortunately for her. Mm. Unfortunately for her. You know, even the, the dim witted people teach people how to cheat. They, they always leave a gaps. an opening yeah. where you can easily grab them. Mm -hmm. The QR code yeah, that, that cannot QR code. be forged. You can't forge it. So that QR it code is unique to when you each scan the, is, When you scan the QR code, it will bring out the name of the original, original owner, owner of that sheet yeah. that she superimposed her own scores on. Mm -hmm. on. So this is the thing. The QR code is actually the resource sheet. As is the result. So the information provided on the site is just to it's, make you yeah, see to make everything in bold relief. Yeah. So the QR code is actually what gives you your result. It's, so if you scan it, you will see the name of the innocent girl. It's like your. Her. It's like your um, this COVID uh, uh, barcode. Barcode. Yes. Yeah. See anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, they scan oh, it. Scan it. Date and the type of vaccine you collect. Mm. It show there. With your name, your picture, your NIN, all your details. Yes. So if you go and carry uh, a fake uh, a hard copy, mm. a, a fake uh, vaccination card with a different barcode, but can they scan it? They will just arrest you. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. I mean, that is what has happened. There. Technology has gone far beyond beyond the Olu Wale days. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not everything that you can read. You, you, you mm. can't do. Uh, you can't this, do Olu Wale to everything. This is the situation that. So I, jam is full, foolproof. Don't just try to diminish the uh, attempt being made by girl. Yeah, because of, yeah, because of one, one, of one, one girl. One, uh, one girl. I'm just saying, oh, jam is this, jam is that, jam is this, that, because... So out of 1.5 million people, why is it that it's only one person that, that is coming, a resort that, a resort that, that is on landscape, and you are defending that kind of country? Are people not even, do, are they not faking uh, bank uh, alerts now? So if are you going to call for the sack of bank MDs? You no, know, people are faking bank alerts. Uh, if so, are you not aware that they are faking bank yes alerts? Yes, now definitely. They go to a supermarket. Okay, let's really take Femi from Abuja. Thank you for joining us, Femi. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Yes, go ahead, Femi. Yes, sir. That man, uh, Mr. Oloyede, he passed. When I when I was in uh, when 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 I was seeking for admission in uh, years back over fifteen years back, hello, can you can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead, please. Yeah, when I was seeking for admission when years back, I it, that was when I, I I knew that man. In fact, the man is, is a very is a complete is a com, is a complete human being. I as if you see like ten ten of uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Olu in Nigeria, Nigeria would have been in a better in a better hand. Thank you. Yes. Thank I you, Femi. Let's celebrate this lady, this, oh. uh, this lady from Anambra State. Yes. She right. got um, 360 uh, from Deeper Life Secondary School. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and you know so many people too in her school. Look at this beautiful, Ume, beautiful, beautiful girl. Ume, 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 Physics, 97. Oh. Chemistry, 99. Woo! So, that, is, <laughs> that is the original <laughs> number one. The, the, this is the real MVP. Confirmed. The real MVP. Yes, so. Valuable player. <laughs> so, for those... Out of 400. For those, this is the Messi. This is the Lionel Messi yes. of UTME this <laughs> yes. year. Kudos to you. And for those Precious. companies, for those companies and corporate bodies... Yes, so. Credible organizations. Sponsor. This Please. is the person. This is the girl. Come on, you are from yes, camp. this is the girl to <laughs> don't waste your time to on give a, scholarship. On <laughs> For those people say they want to give empty scholarship and everything uh -huh. without getting you to want the root to of give this water. scholarship to a forger. Something is wrong with you. <laughs> oh no, no, no! It no, is no. people like uh, uh, this precious. Yes. Mm. In fact, if I have access to uh, her parents, I will give a personal donation. To this girl, because if I had a child like this, I would be extremely proud of Honestly. her. Honestly, proud, brilliant yeah. girl, no noise. No, this is what no we noise. It's called three sixty. Yes, yeah. and, and nobody knows that. And now you went to add two on top of uh, this. Uh, and just this to hard work. You, so beat her. Who announced you as the winner? As the winner, it is Damn Dam's responsibility to, to give us the ten 
10 best names. And you have 99 in chemistry, 98 in mathematics, uh -uh. 97 in physics. Yes, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Stand up for the champion. <laughs> Dam, Dam, Dam didn't give her this result. She ended it. She, she ended it. Yes. 360. She didn't scan it. <laughs> she didn't. I'm she happy didn't alter that the barcodes. Dam has now identified the young boy who designed that app. Mm. That was used to clone. Very good. So, and they are saying that they are yeah. going to withdraw her admission. His admission. Right. They mm. discovered, and they are going after them one after. Of course, mm. no. See, mm. whenever you design any app, where you, I mean, before you can register it, your details will be there. So it is difficult. They discovered the boy. You will, you will be found out. They will get you, and all those and who have been helping that, that oh, universities people jump uh, system is. Uh, it's just scrap loose. It. It's just People scrap are jam. getting into yeah. universities. Okay, rig jam result for your son and let us see whether he can get into Unilag. <laughs> you think universities are taking money for verification of jam result for nothing? Try it. Rig the result and get into Unilag. Let us see. So once again, congratulations to Ume Precious, this uh, a precious lady. Mm. Moji Jami, thank you for your contribution. And the message. Thank you. We keep celebrating this girl. No, we, this is the person we should be celebrating. Yes. And Whenever we are talking about this matter, always. we'll bring this Yes. Girl. We should be celebrating. <laughs> and we will not leave precious. this matter alone. Yes, yes, so yes. Yeah. That's the root matter, of it. Still, the DSS, they come out with the investigation and a verdict is actually reached. It's a very easy investigation. Yes. The, the facts mm. are startling. All right. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program by 5 p.m. We are on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzubakun. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.